What's up guys? It is Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com. Thank you for joining me on Tarantula Tuesday. If you're new here, I put out spider or tarantula videos every single week on Tuesdays. Um, this could include things like tarantula facts, uh, educational information about tarantulas, crazy stories about my own tarantulas, interesting things that my spiders are doing. So if you're into that, please subscribe. If you're coming back, I really wanted to share a beautiful story about Spidey's experience. Um, Spidey is, who is right here, she is a Gramostola rosea. She is actually very well loved by thousands and thousands of people around the world. She has become a little bit Tumblr famous from a Tumblr blog that I started of her when I first got her. And ever since then, she has been winning over hearts and inspiring other people to get into tarantula keeping and even educating children. And today I would love to talk about that because I have been very inspired about the new young tarantula keepers that are getting into this hobby. And to me, that means that we've got some really great parents and people who are really working on allowing their kids to explore the world freely and not encouraging certain fears and that they're helping to educate their children about the usefulness of all creatures in the world. So I would like to share Spidey's own experience in contributing to that, a more accepting world for tarantulas and spiders and basically any other non-mainstream pet. So many of you don't know this, this was before uh, Spidey and I got on YouTube, but a few years ago, Spidey actually had her first job before she was a YouTuber, um, and that she was educating kids about tarantulas. I have a dear friend who worked at a uh, children's daycare center in Philly, and it was suggested that maybe um, we might be able to do a little lesson with the kids about tarantulas. These are really young kids, so I was really excited because that's kind of when you got to get them so before they can develop certain fears instead of curiosity. And we had a little bit of trouble setting this up. So first Spidey and I were like super excited to give a little lesson to the kids. And then there was a little bit of confusion because the daycare center wasn't really sure if a tarantula would be allowed into the center due to certain regulations. And I guess being worried about diseases, um, which I understood. I was quite sad about that though. Um, but then we, we got the green light and so Spidey and I ventured to the daycare center and she was a little bit scared, you know, tarantulas are very fragile. We had to take a little ride to the daycare center. Um, I do not like to put Spidey through these stressful situations very often. So we only did this twice and haven't done it since. Um, and not just because of the state of the world and COVID, it's just I haven't really pushed it. Um, were asked to come back just because I do think that it was kind of hard on her. And so what I did was I have these tiny little critter keepers that I kind of use as transportation containers or containers for her feeders. And so we took a nice little Uber drive to the daycare center. I honestly didn't know what the reactions were going to be. The teachers did prep the kids beforehand so they knew what was going to be going on. Um, and the kids were told that any kid that did not feel comfortable with being in the room with a spider did not have to be in a room. So I feel like the daycare was very respectful and accommodating to children who might have a fear of spiders or just be really uncomfortable with that. I honestly don't mind that. I really do respect that arachnophobia is a very real condition, a very debilitating condition. And I don't think that anybody should be forced if they do not want to be exposed to a spider. But what I found is that in these educational settings, no one actually wants to leave the room. I had every single child in there. Um, and I have some really beautiful pictures of the event. Um, in a blog post in the description below, I had written a blog post and posting some photos of it when it happened a few years back. And so if you wanna see that and see Spidey in action, there are some really great pictures there of the kids being super intrigued. And the thing that I really love about doing this kind of educational stuff at schools or at daycare centers is that curiosity just takes over. There were people who said that they were very scared. And you know, once they found out that there was a tarantula in the daycare, they were like freaking out. Um, there were actually a few adults that actively avoided me when I came there, and that is to be expected. But 
Um, as far as the kids in that classroom, I had all eyes on us and even a bunch of teachers who said that they were scared of spiders were even coming into the room because they were also extremely curious. And what I found is that when people give tarantulas a chance or actually get up close and personal and see them in more of an educational light, even the people who say that they're terrified, um, they will get extremely curious. They will want to know all this stuff about it. And I feel like that really takes, and I think that's why I push so hard for tarantula education is because um, that really helps them to kind of, kind of separate that fear that they have in their mind of what a spider or what a tarantula is and what it might do to them to learning about the animal. So it was just a very positive experience. And it was actually a kind of stressful because word had gotten around that Spidey and I were at the center. So we couldn't walk down the hallway without somebody, either a teacher or a kid, stopping us and asking to look at her. So Spidey got a lot of new fans that day. Um, so many adorable things happened, um, you know, from the little kids being at first really nervous and then really excited. Um, the teachers had to constantly remind the kids to stay back and away from the tank to give us space. Um, one little girl gave Spidey a sticker, which was adorable. So I tried to give the kids, with Spidey's helps, just some basic education about tarantulas. We talked about life cycles, we talked about molting, we talked about feeding, how tarantulas drink, how they poop. I showed them pictures of different kinds of tarantulas so kids could see how colorful they can be. And they even taught me something. They taught me how to say spider in sign language, which I unfortunately don't remember how to do, but I thought that was amazing. Spidey, for the most part, was pretty nervous and scared. Um, I tried to do a feeding demonstration for the kids with a worm, and that was super embarrassing because Spidey was not having it. So what I ended up doing, since Spidey wasn't up for a feeding demonstration, I ended up sending the teachers a few clips of her former feeding videos so that they could share that with the kids. So that's what they did. It was such a great experience. Um, I would love to do more of that work, maybe online instead, um, just to minimize the stress on Spidey. Um, if there are a way to do that, and maybe due to COVID, there might be. I'm sure a lot of classes and teachers are doing this kind of stuff or, or different organizations, but it was so cool. Um, and something really sweet came out of it. The kids um, were so happy about the lesson and to see Spidey that they actually, um, they made her thank you cards and some of them were just so precious. I I still have them. Um, I'll put some pictures in here because they are just too cute. Um, as a thank you, Spidey did a little photo shoot with the thank you cards. So some very precious things came out of it. Um, Spidey and I did go back to the daycare center a little bit after that to do a second lesson with another class, which was also extremely positive. I am always amazed at how inquisitive children are and, and how curious they are and what great questions they come up with. Um, so yeah, and I know that a lot of other tarantula owners do this kind of work too. I've made several friends through Facebook that um, they also educate kids on tarantulas or they, you know, if they are a, a child, because um, we've got some really great young tarantula keepers now in the community, um, they will share it with their friends. So I really love this. I think education is really, the key. So yeah, Spidey has had a very amazing life. She is an older lady and she, she's had many jobs. She's been an educator. Um, she's been an activist. She's been a lot of things, either on Tumblr and off Tumblr. And I really love that um, I can not only use her platform for good things and to provide encouragement to people, but I really love that I can also change some really harmful perceptions of spiders. And it's just by her being who she is, who she is. Um, she is a really sweet spider. And um, I do think that, you know, even though I'm giving the lesson to the kids, I do think that they are totally um, in love or they fall in love with how gentle she is and how calm she is and how she doesn't move around too much. I think she's I think she's the perfect tarantula to actually do education with just because um, 
she tends to be not very intimidating. Now, after a molt, that's a little bit different, but for the most part, when I've done these lessons with the kids, she barely moves around. She is just very chill, um, no sudden movements. So the kids don't really have any reason to be worried and they can just enjoy her and look at her. So yeah, Spidey's quite accomplished for a tarantula. She's always doing some cool stuff. And I've just been really grateful for the opportunity. And I'm excited. Maybe Spidey will do something else. Maybe she'll do some other sort of activism in her life that we could get into. Anyway, guys, if you guys have ever done any sort of tarantula uh, education or activism in your life with your tarantulas, I would honestly love to hear about it. Um, it's really awesome when I, I think we can use these unusual creatures to um, not only further respect for these creatures, but to also um, show people that they do not have to live in fear. I think that, that people underestimate how empowering that can actually be to confront a fear that maybe you don't even have to have. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please send Spidey some love. She's the hardest working tarantula that I know. Thank you so much for listening to her story. And I will see you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Bye.